Joe asked me about Kyle's uh, ADHD, and I didn't know how to answer her question because I guess I don't know how to deal with it myself. My fear is, you know, as he's already gotten kicked out of kindergarten, if they remove him from school to another type of program, that's just my worst nightmare. And I kind of see that it's going that direction. If these parents are going to make a choice to take Carl off of his medication when he's been diagnosed with ADHD, then they've got to come up with some more positive methods to help him, because it's not going to go away on its own. You're sitting here. Yes. Look at my face. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. I'm getting upset. Yes. So look at me. Once Michael left, I went into Carl's bedroom so that I could talk to him myself. When Mummy and Daddy shout at you and they get cross with you, does it make you feel sad or happy? Sad. You feel sad. Do you want to behave badly? If I stayed for a couple of days, would that be a good thing? To help you? Because can I tell you something? I don't think you're a bad boy. I don't think you're a bad boy at all. <laughs> So here in West Hills, California, let's take a look at the family that need my help this week. Hi, we're the Park family from West Hills, California. I'm Michael. And I'm Heather. And we have three kids, Kyle, who's six, Farley, who's four, and Pierce, who is two. Michael and I work full time, so we have our nanny, Alejandra. Full time parents, we have a nanny, I know that one. All three of our kids hit. Farley, stop hitting. Kyle, does that not I wish that we could somehow get our children to calm down, stop yelling, stop fighting. They don't listen. Pierce! Stop it! I guess I don't I don't know what to do with them. Farley! I kind of have a discipline method, yet it's inconsistent. You need to sit and think about things. No. Why are you acting like this? We think it would be great if Alejandra would be able to have a sense of control over the kids. Kyle, what are you doing? I think she lets them kind of do what they want to do. She tells me that she doesn't feel comfortable doing the discipline. Mom, push me. I like video games. I know you do, but stop it. Stop. Kyle. So if the nanny's not disciplining and the parents are not disciplining, who's disciplining? Kyle has ADHD. We tried medication for about a month, and we just didn't find that he was any easier to work with on medication. Stop it. Kyle's in kindergarten and he has been in trouble at school. I had to pick him up a number of times for bothering other kids and not keeping his hands to himself. Homework time usually with Kyle is a nightmare. Yeah. Back to the table to do your homework. It turns into just a full meltdown and then we force him to sit at the table and do his homework. It might be anywhere from one to two hours before we can get a couple pages done. Hand me the paper. So this little boy has ADHD and he's not on medication. Oh, I wonder what they do do then to help him. Our kids have problems and we're having problems handling them. And I feel like I'm getting angrier as we get on rather than happier. We need Super Nanny to help us make our family happy. Super, Super Nanny, Nanny, please, please come, come help. help. You guys desperately need some help. I'll see you soon. What's your name? Alejandra. Alejandra, yeah. pleased to meet wow. you. Wow, so nice to have you. Mum and Dad are at work, is that right? Yes, I'm Jojo. Yeah. And who's this little one here? Fadley. Hi, Fadley. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Pleased to meet you. And who else we have? Pierce and Pierce. Kyle. Alejandra took me upstairs to see Carl, but before okay. I could even say hello, he kicked off and he started to punch his sister. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Kyle. Kyle. That is not nice. Kyle hit me and I don't like it. Stop. Ow. You're not listening. It's not funny. Stop. Stop. Go in run. Before Alejandro could even get control of Carl, he ran down to the side of the house. Why are you running away? Come here. It's not okay what you did, okay? Go say sorry to your sister. Go over there. Hey, guys. I couldn't even say hello to him before Farley come along to get a few more licks in. Get Farley! Yes. Kyle! Stop! Stop hitting her! Stop! Don't hit me! 
Carl did settle long enough for me to say hello. Hi, pleased to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. Carl, how old are you? Six. But before I knew it, he was jumping into the pool and he didn't even ask permission. Kyle, get our ass first. He wants to go in the water. As a nanny, do you discipline the children when they misbehave? Because right now, that's a situation that's dangerous. Yeah, but he's not listening. Correct. So what are you going to do? Because right now, you're in charge. Yeah. How are you going to take care of no, this little family, one and that little one? Don't go in the water, he's please. In the water? This is normal. It's really hard because if they don't listen, I can force them. With the kids in the pool and a nanny not in control, I've started to get worried about these kids' safety. A few hours later, Mum came home, and before she'd even parked up, Pierce and Kyle had run out of the house. No, 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 no. Pierce! I don't want you to go in the street. Get inside. Your mum's going to get home, OK? No, no. She said get off the car. And Alejandra couldn't wait to leave. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, very well. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. So, where are you going now? You're finished now, are you? OK, OK. Thank you. Take care. It's your duty as a nanny to let the parent know exactly what kind of day the children have had. Alejandra's like, I'm gone. So I arrived this morning and I've already started to observe and just kind of watch the kids. And so really what I'm going to do is just carry on and do the same really with yourself. OK. Mama! You did not climb up there. You are going to fall down and crack your head open. There was horror on her face before she even closed the front door of her house. And once we were inside the home, you know, I could see why. It was a disaster. Stop it. That's enough. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I get home from work and they just go crazy. And I'm thinking, oh my God, why did I come home from work? Mama. You have about three seconds and you're absolutely not going to have any video games up there. One, two. So later on, it was time for Carl to do his homework. I can't. <coughs> you can't do what? I can't count the turtles. You can count the turtles. No, I can't count. Count the turtles. You know how to count. You can count. Come on. Homework with him is four. <laughs> and it's mostly because he just doesn't want to do anything. He sits there and doesn't finish the assignments. If Carl does sit down, it's not for long. He got up from his chair, out into the backyard, and through an unlocked gate. All right, Carl, say goodbye to every single video game that you have. They're all gone. No. They're all gone. As soon as your dad gets home, I'm telling him, take every single one no. of them away. You're done. No. You're done. Mum's threats did work. Carl did come into the house, but I wanted to talk to her about Carl's medical diagnosis of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So he's diagnosed with ADHD. We put him on medication and that did nothing. And that particular medication wasn't successful. Right, and then the medicine didn't work and they kept just saying, up the dose, up the dose, up the dose. So you're making a choice not to put him on medication. Right, but he's definitely getting better. I mean, he's learned to kind of calm down. Well, routine is definitely necessary for him. And I couldn't help but think, if Carl's behavior is calmer now and it's improved, then what was it like before? <laughs> No. Later on in the day, the kids jumped back into the pool again, didn't ask permission again, and Mum couldn't do anything to stop it. Get out. Oh. Kyle. <laughs> when Farley was running around the pool and hopping over the fence, I mean, it gets to the point where I just start laughing because I can't believe I'm really chasing a four-year-old around and she's actually beating me. Get out. I rolled on myself. Okay. Don't tell lies. Get out. <laughs> Probably, it's freezing. It's freezing. I don't care. I don't care. They've got these young children at the age of four and six who are not prepared to listen to their own parents. And if they can't get a grip on this now, they're going to be in huge trouble. Huge trouble. Oh You're God. done. Oh Kyle, wait till your dad gets here. Carl and Farley were either hitting their mum or ignoring their mum. And I knew that she couldn't wait for the reinforcement to get home. Michael, you can go handle I can't deal anymore. Did mommy tell you to get out of the phone? Hi, please get meet out you. Of the car? Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, Joe. Nice Hi, to Michael. meet you. 
Farley, come here. Dad did manage to get the kids out of the pool, but he did proceed to give them a timeout. And first it was Farley, and then Kyle. I'm right here, Kyle. No reason to open the door. <laughs> so what's your take on his um, ADHD? Because I know he's not on medication at the moment. Um, no, he's not. Because he so just he chooses listen. not to listen. Kyle! Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Kyle wants to just push my buttons. Now I'm up. I'm getting pretty mad right now. Dad got really frustrated and he made the situation worse because the more angrier he became, the more aggressive Carl's behavior was. So what measures have you taken to deal with his ADHD as you've decided the pair of you not to put him on medication? Just tried to get a little bit more structured with him in as much as we can. Yeah. Joe asked me about Kyle's uh, ADHD and I didn't know how to answer her question because I guess I don't know how to deal with it myself. My fear is, you know, as he's already gotten kicked out of kindergarten, if they remove him from school to another type of program, that's just my worst nightmare. And I kind of see that it's going that direction. If these parents are going to make a choice to take Carl off of his medication when he's been diagnosed with ADHD, then they've got to come up with some more positive methods to help him, because it's not going to go away on its own. You're sitting here. Yes. Look at my face. Do you yes. understand? Yes. I'm getting upset. Yes. So look at me. Once Michael left, I went into Carl's bedroom so I could talk to him myself. When Mummy and Daddy shout at you and they get cross with you, does it make you feel sad or happy? Sad. You feel sad. Do you want to behave badly? If I stayed for a couple of days, would that be a good thing to help you? Because can I tell you something? I don't think you're a bad boy. I don't think you're a bad boy at all. I really had assessed the situation very, very quickly. So the quicker I left, the quicker I knew I could come back and really address the circumstances that needed to be discussed. Today has been interesting, <laughs> to say the least, and uh, we certainly do need to sit down and talk. Well, as Jo left tonight, I'm a little bit nervous about what she's going to talk about tomorrow. start off by talking about the first issue that I saw and that is you have a nanny if that's what you would call her in my eyes she's a babysitter right Alejandra is having to deal with circumstances that are beyond her control she's having to deal with children who are unruly who misbehave who don't listen to her I'm not sitting here to, to put down Alejandra, I'm really not, because I see the girl's trying to do the best that she can. But to give her your kids when you can't even control them yourself, it's not fair. It's not fair on your kids, it's not fair on your nanny, and I, I, I am, I'm just blown away. I, I'm really blown away. I have no clue how to control them myself. Let's go on to the next issue, and that is behavior. I don't even know where to begin. Spitting, punching, biting, slapping. What I saw was a lot of mixed messages, a lot of empty threats and no follow through. How are your kids gonna take you seriously? You're a joke. You're a joke, as far as your kids are concerned. You hold no weight. You might as well be talking to a brick wall. There are no clear expectations that really teach your children, well, this is how I need to behave. This is what's expected from me. You know for a fact that the way you're choosing to deal with Carl right now is based upon his behavior that is linked with his diagnosis. What do you do constructively with your son that helps him, considering he's been diagnosed with ADHD? I guess I don't do anything, I mean. You both made conscious decisions yeah, as don't... parents to not put your kid on medication. Let's just get real here. Okay, so right now I don't see you doing anything constructively that is nurturing the Carl that we all know. Everybody's choosing to react to Carl who becomes impulsive, who behaves destructively. That's absolutely right. And unfortunately for him, that's how the school reacts. That's how outside friends react. That's how outside family reacts. So and his own parents, his, Heather. You're right, absolutely. His own parents. That's my point. 
Your kid don't stand a chance when his own mum and dad doesn't give him a chance. Your own son, Heather. I'm not here to pussyfoot around. Michael. I think we're trying, but it's not working. You're not bad parents. You're just a bit lost. There are things that you can put in place if you choose not to put him on medication that will help him. Do I have two parents in the driving seat? Because I, I cannot have two parents in the passenger seat. Yes. That's where we need to be. All right, so uh, we better start working. Thank you. Okay, thanks. When I arrived to begin teaching, I had a little surprise in store for this family. Alejandra, what you are going to do, okay, is you're going to release yourself from service. The truth of the matter is, is that personally, from one nanny to another, I think there's a lot that you are taking on and having to deal with. The part family do have a nanny, but it doesn't mean that they shouldn't know how to control their own kids' behaviour. So I'm going to let Alejandra go and take a break, and Mum and Dad can take some time off of work to learn. I need you guys to know that you can do it by yourselves, all right? And that having Alejandra here is an addition, is a bonus to your family, all right? When Joe sent Alejandra away, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm like, she's sending our nanny away. What is she doing? Enjoy, my love. OK, thank Enjoy you. The sun. <laughs> With Alejandra away, the next order of business was to establish the house rules. All right, so what I've got for the whole family are the park family rules. These kids get told a lot not to do this, not to do that, but actually there is nothing visually that these kids can have as a reference to teach them. Amen. Let's place this up here and open the black iron gates of the park. Short and simple, number one, ask before swimming so that the adults can look after you. The next rule here is keep off the staircase railing. Be kind to one another. And the next one here is be kind with your words. And number five is to listen and do. I think that they're actually really good and I think that the kids understand them. The rules are up here, so if they break the rules, they realise that there'll be a consequence for that. Okay. Now that the house rules have been established, it is going to be important to teach Dad how to minimise Carl's behaviour as he does have ADHD and Dad does overreact to this behaviour. Michael, the reason why I've brought these large dominoes in is because I just want to visually show you the chain reaction of what happens with you and Carl. Right. So I set up the dominoes and read them out to him as they were placed. Carl becomes obstinate. Okay. All right, set them up. When Joe brought out the dominoes, she explained to me how an ADHD child will react to certain situations. And then Dad reacts. Yes, he does. And then Carl becomes very defiant. Yes, he does. And then you try to control the impulsive behavior, mm -hmm. OK? You want control. He's pushing your buttons. You don't want to work alongside it. He pushes your buttons and you take it personally. Dad feels like a failure and now Carl feels unloved. The Domino's exercise for Michael was to really show him that this chain reaction creates nothing but a feeling of failure and hostility between himself and his son. For Dad to avoid the chain reaction, all he needs to do is act differently to Carl's outbursts and take out that second domino. Instead of you thinking, how am I going to work alongside this? Right. How am I going to compromise? You react. Right. If I don't. Take out that. So the reason why we've set this up is for you to realise that as soon as we take out your reaction, there's no chain reaction anymore. I like that. I didn't realise I was doing that. You'll be left with no anger. Right. You won't need to control. And it means you don't take it personally. Right. You know, I think overall, if I'm calmer, the whole situation comes out better in the end.
Children who do have ADHD need a lot of consistent motivation. So a reward system in place really does help. And that's why I introduced the Waterwork system to give Carl some self-esteem and boost his confidence. These cups, all right, have different things on them. This one has a good report from Alejandra. The next one is homework. Now, this is what happens. When you do it, and you do it very well, okay. you get the chance open to open it up and fill it up with the water to this ridge. OK? And then what? And then when you've achieved that, you then get to pour the water into the tube. Now, if you do all of this, that ball at the bottom will start to float and rise right the way to the top. This is That's your top. When Kyle saw the waterworks, he was pretty excited. His eyes lit up, so I think he's going to be led in a positive direction of feeling better about himself. All right, give me five. You got it. You got it, buddy. You got it. Carl was excited about earning his first reward, so he sat down to do some homework whilst I went through some tips. Find a quiet spot. OK, it's a quiet spot. Only present one assignment at a time. Which one are you going to do first? You decide. The mugs or this one? No, this one. OK. That one. OK. Explain the instructions slowly and carefully. And when he's doing well, praise the effort that he's making. The tools for homework were great. It's something that I've never thought of. The simple things that would really help a kid. Kyle, look how smart he is. How did you do <laughs> these blocks? <laughs> How did you do these blocks? OK, so the kangaroo's on two, and we took one away. What do we have left? One. <laughs> this is too easy. This is so, so right easy. Right in here. Good. Right in, right. in here. Carl did really good with his homework, but after 20 minutes, he started to wobble with his focus. Backwards. Do it again. Oh, bum, what? I can't do backwards. I was a little apprehensive about Kyle and his homework, because usually he you know, gets really distracted and decides he's not going to do it. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I can't do all right. You got like two, three more. I'm so sweaty. It was fantastic to see Heather just stay put with Kyle and keep him focused. And he went off a little bit and she brought him back again. Hey, you just had one little mistake. Wow. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> there you we go. Can. High five. Yes. Well done, Carl. The homework that he ended up doing, and it took us a half hour. It would take us normally two hours to complete. Three pieces of homework in 30 minutes. The children with ADHD suffer from a lot of low self-esteem. So giving Carl a reward system that would motivate him would make him very pleased. And adding an additional sticker book would make him smile. Carl's homework achievement book. Choose one of these stickers and you will place it into your book here every time you achieve your homework. When I do my homework, I to put a sticker on my sticker book. My shark! Homework? Isn't that on your waterworks? Yes. With real positive support from his parents, a sticker book, the waterwork system in place, it's really going to give Carl the self-esteem and confidence he's going to need to focus on his school homework. High five. With Carl making progress, I now need to increase better communication between mum and dad and the other people in Carl's life. So, is there any way we can sit? Sure, have a conversation. Come on over here. Carl has been suspended five or six times. You know, we're very serious about, you know, making sure Carl doesn't fall between the cracks. Well, we're doing a behaviour chart and that seems to be working. He has to verbalise how he feels that he did and then I verbalize how I feel he did and we talk about it and then he can go ahead and make the decision whether he thinks he deserved a happy face, an okay face or a sad face. Getting on the same page with Kyle's school I think is going to be very beneficial to improving his ADHD behaviors. I think it would be a great idea to have a report book going back and forth so that there's this relationship between you both that reports daily what's happening and, and supports Carl. If mum and dad can collaborate with Carl's teacher and set up a system that's the same at home and at school, it will give Carl consistency. This is great to come here and have this conversation and, and just really find out 
what we can all do for Carl. With mum and dad more settled, it is time to bring Alejandra back so they can have more open conversation. The communication between the pair of you has got to get better. It's got to get better. Alejandra, can I ask you just to be really frank with the things that you're finding extremely difficult when looking after the kids? When they don't listen <coughs> and they try to hit me. <laughs> Kyle tries to hit me. So is it mainly Carl that's the problem? Mostly Kyle. It's really hard right. to make them listen. I just can't force them, but that's right. the hard okay. part. When Joe was having the conversation with Alejandra and I about, you know, where her difficulties are, that was good to kind of go over and make that known to me. The discipline is one that you can learn, just like Heather's learning now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important for you to discuss with Alejandro. I think with the discipline with the kids, you know, I'd like to have her do the same thing that we're doing here so that we're both on the same page. To help Mum and Alejandra feel like they're supporting one another, I introduced a nanny diary so they can record the events of the day. What I have here, I want to show you, okay, is, is the nanny diary. Oh, hi, nice. Okay. That's nice. What it does, it allows you just to jot down some of the things that have happened during the day, all right? Some of the negative things, some of the positive things that you'll be able to read. The nanny diary is really, really going to help me a lot because Heather will know, you know, what's going on during the day what's happening with the kids, how they're behaving. I'm going to give that to you, Alejandra. Thank you. All right. The nanny diary is going to help, but Carl, when he is around Alejandra, does need more structure. So I'm going to go through doing a new routine with Heather. What I would propose is for you to do homework mm -hmm. with Carl. So you're going to learn how we're going to do that, all right? He's done his homework, he does really well. He will use the waterworks that we have there. Yet again, I'm expecting you to explain that to Alejandra. And it helps support Carl. Alejandra and I have never sat down like that before. So this is actually better now. I think she feels probably more comfortable with me and I feel more comfortable with her. I feel that we have a, a real solid routine that's going to support what we're doing here. Yeah. Feeling better? Yeah, I love yeah. better. <laughs> Thank you. I'm leaving for several days. Carl, I want to see you continuing with your homework, all right, and doing really well. Keep up your good work with the dominoes, sure. all right? I mean, I'm seeing a big improvement already. With Joe leaving, I'm a little anxious to see what's going to happen with Kyle. I still think he's going to push buttons. And Mum? Mm -hmm. Just energy. OK. All right, it's just about being in that driving seat. OK. Just follow it through. Seeing Jo walk out the door and knowing that she's going to be gone for the next three days makes me feel a little bit nervous. I'm just crossing my fingers that we remember all the steps and we do them correctly. And when she comes back, we're not like horrified by what we see. After three days away, the question is, did this family stay calm or did it all blow up? Who wants to see what I've got here? I do. Huh? Are you excited? Yeah. We are excited. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, OK. So, um, Let's see. here we're going to look at homework. This I do want to see. OK, Carl, come on. One last assignment, and then we can use your achievement book if we can get it done. Let's see. You did two homeworks. Perfect. Can you do a third? Can you do it? Perfect. Oh, my goodness. A good tea. Tell me when I can open them. Open. Kyle, this is the best writing I have ever seen you do. I'm going to put this one from Mom that says amazing. That's one of the best pieces I have ever seen in yeah, four good. years of being here in America. <laughs> Serious. Congratulations. Seriously. Yeah, he's really good. Congratulate. Give me a hug. That was amazing, amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, he, he's doing great. Just his temperament, everything. That's just a role model, absolutely role model. So the next piece we're going to look at here is actually just dealing with Carl and, and how we've been taking care of the situation. Let's pack up the game and let's go take our shower. Pack up the game. 
It's shower time. What are you talking about? It's 7 o'clock. When you're ready to come up and talk to me, come up and talk. Come on. <coughs> what happened in there? What? In there. I screamed. Why? Because you were upset? You can feel upset, but you don't have to go scream that loud, do you? There. I'm glad you realized that, and it didn't take very long, did it, to chill out? Michael! You played some of those while I was gone. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's been good. You took that domino piece out. I've been more calm, that's for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. This is this is a good day. Okay, let's look at the next piece. Call me if, if you need anything. But don't be scared to give them a timeout. Okay. Be firm, yell sure. at them, put them in timeout. Okay. Don't not hit me. Okay, you're gonna get in big trouble. Okay? I am upset with you. I don't like the way you're talking to me. You gotta stop. Stop hitting me. Okay. Stop doing that. Go in the other room right now. Okay. How were they? Oh my goodness. Good and bad. Uh-oh, what well, happened? Uh, he hit me like a couple of times. He was not listening. And what about Farley and Pierce? Uh, sh they were mostly like nice. It's okay. It was hard, but yeah. you dealt with it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was great to see Alejandra actually come forth and say to you about right. having the bad day. I love the fact that you explained it to her. It was lovely to see her actually feel okay right. about what hadn't gone great with the day. When you've left and you've gone off to work, she needs to be able to hold that same authority and basically be your substitute in a way when you right. are at work, you know? Perfect. But good stuff. I'm glad to see that. It was a nice piece of footage there. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a look at how serious you've been throughout me being away. Yeah. Kyle, here, Kyle, is that what you do with scissors? Is that what we do with scissors? <laughs> okay, what do you think you do with scissors? Do we cut our hair? Or does a hairdresser cut our hair? Cut your hair because now you have a funny spot, and everyone's gonna say, What did that kid do? No, common sense. Common I mean, sense. Where was your common sense? That could have been everyone could have poked his eye out. The first thing would have been I to have take taken the scissors, scissors. scissors straight away out of Carl's hands. Okay. You take what's unsafe out of arms. That's your job as, as a parent. That's crazy. Okay, today we look at safety. I have to say, I'm very encouraged to see that the way you have chosen to do homework has totally supported Carl 100%. I love, love Michael, love your relationship with Carl here. I mean, it's just so mature. It's very, very positive. And it's certainly going to build your relationship with Carl and allow it to grow as it should with father and son. So, um, it's been depression. much easier. Well, that, that's exactly how it should be, you know, and that's certainly what we're seeing now, which makes me a very happy nanny. <clears throat> All right, let's get going. Okay. After seeing Carl butcher his hair on that DVD, I knew it was time to teach his family just a little bit more safety. Safety is a priority. Number one, we need the backyard gate secure and we need the front door secure as well. All right. There's no safety catch on the front door. There's a backyard lock that the children can open very, very easily. And I just feel that they have not taken the time to scan the house and realize, you know, how are we gonna make this child proof? This one here will be for the front door. No, 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 no. I don't want to go in the street. And this one here will go on the other side of the backyard gate. How get in here right now. We've done safety for the front door, the backyard's been bolted. That was a really good thing that Joe suggested for us, huh? There are certain things in place for safety, but we still need a little bit more. I mean, let's face it, when Carl picked up those scissors and started to chomp his hair up, my God, it was my worst nightmare. Draw latches. Okay. All right. Where I keep safety the scissors. Safety scissors. So please, we need that, all of you. All right, because you shouldn't have been cutting your hair. 
all your brothers here. I felt it was a lot safer that we brought in some of these safety aspects, putting locks on the doors, putting the knives up higher. Look at that. I mean, I know these blocks are meant to be up here, but... Yeah, just get a drawer. The house is much safer now because of what Joe helped us do. With the house safe and Mum and Alejandra communicating more, there is still one thing I need to do, and that's to teach Alejandra how to discipline these kids by herself. Alejandra, how's Farley been and Pierce? Uh, she was hey, a little rough with me. Stand up. She hit me in the head. She hit you in the head? Yeah. I was so not pleased when I heard this. And so I said to Alejandra, you're gonna have to do time out with her. That behavior, is totally unacceptable. Do you understand me? You do not hit anybody. For you to think that it's okay to hit your nanny is appalling. My main objective was really making sure that Alejandra would respect herself and not allow one of her charges to do that to her. Take her straight to the step. Let's go them out. As their nanny, this is about her taking a stand for herself. Alejandra was, all she was needing was permission to do it. I'm gonna stay here because you hit me in the head and it was well, not okay. Slow down. So right now, you see your voice? Your voice is like you talk to them all the time. Do I sound like I'm happy when I'm talking to you? No, I'm not happy. So she needs to know that, okay? Through the voice that you use. We are not happy with the way you have chose to behave. You will stay there, young lady. Okay, off we go. I didn't really know how to do that, you know, put in time out. I didn't know how. She'll be there for five minutes. OK. Keep an eye on the time. OK. OK, then I want you to come back mm -hmm. and very firmly, like I'm doing now, very firmly, you have been put here because you hit me. And I am not happy with that. I want you to tell me you're sorry. OK. OK, she gives you the apology, hugs and kisses, then you get her off the step. I was a little apprehensive about how Alejandra would take this whole experience and whether she'd be fully into it like we are and we need her to be in order for it to work well in our family. <clears throat> the reason why you're here is because you hit me in the head and you had to get time out and that was not okay, okay? Now I need an apology from you. Sorry. Okay. I was really glad that she was firm and she put her on the spot and she did it. It was great. Okay, we'll be in. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no. So listen guys, I'm going. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye, darling. Bye, bye. I miss you. Oh, sweetie. I've got to take my hat off to any parent who even when they feel that they are at the lowest, find that strength, they really do. And that's exactly what the Park family did. That The children are happier, you can feel that. And Michael and Heather are far more confident than what they ever were when I arrived. They're proud of themselves, and so they should be. You've done really, really well. I think what Joe did for us first and foremost was deal with Kyle's ADHD and how to get him in check with homework, with, with everything, with the things we couldn't do. I thought she had a really good perspective on what was going on inside his mind. Every day I see that you just become more and more confident. I know. Thank keep you it up. so much. You're moving up for helping us out. Keep talking. If I had one thing to say to other parents that have kids with ADHD, my new experience tells me that patience is the key. Are you Carl. I am pleased with you, yes. I'm pleased with all of you. The most important thing is that you help me with how to tell the kids to respect me. And keep growing, okay? okay thank you. <laughs> Take care. I'm gonna really, really miss Joe. She's the best. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. I think what parents will get from watching the Park family is to recognize that even when you feel your reserve tank is empty, there's always just a little bit more left.